My name is Father Charlie. I'm a novice here in the community of the Resurrection. And today I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, a classic text in the monastic tradition, the sayings of the Desert Fathers. The Desert Fathers lived mostly in the third and fourth centuries, mostly in Egypt, but also in Syria and Palestine. And we remember them today really as the pioneers of Christian monasticism. They were men and women who left ordinary society in order to live a very simple ascetic life in the desert, in order to devote themselves entirely to prayer, to silence and to poverty. Initially, this was individuals going to live as hermits, but in time, as more people started to come, communities began to form, and really the history of monasticism takes off from that point. Some of the sayings are actual sayings, but many of them are really uh, little memorable stories, quite often of younger monks coming to ask the advice of the fathers. All of them are wise or memorable in some way. Many of them are, are very beautiful. Some of them are very funny. And then some of them are just quite strange and baffling. But all of them, I think, have a depth and a resonance that keeps on drawing generations of readers back to them. And in all of these ways, I think of them really as like little poems. And like all the best poetry, they really speak for themselves. And so what I'm going to do is read a small selection of the sayings um, in the hope that it will whet your appetite for more. You'll hear that uh, many of the figures referred to in the, the sayings um, are called Abba, um, which just means father. The brethren asked Abba Agathon, Amongst all good works, which is the virtue which requires the greatest effort? He answered, Forgive me, but I think there is no labour greater than that of prayer to God. Whatever good work a man undertakes, if he perseveres in it, he will attain rest. But prayer is warfare to the last breath. One day, some old men came to see Abba Anthony. In the midst of them was Abba Joseph. Wanting to test them, the old man suggested a text from the scriptures, and beginning with the youngest, he asked them what it meant. Each gave his opinion as he was able, but to each one the old man said, you have not understood it. Last of all, he said to Abba Joseph, how would you explain this saying? And he replied, I do not know. Then Abba Antony said, indeed, Abba Joseph has found the way, for he has said, I do not know. One day, Abba Arsenius came to a place where there were reeds blowing in the wind. The old man said to the brothers, What is this movement? They said, Some reeds. Then the old man said to them, When one who is living in silent prayer hears the song of a little sparrow, his heart no longer experiences the same peace. How much worse it is when you hear the movement of those reeds. Abba Isaac said that Abba Pambo used to say, the monk's garment should be such that he could throw it out of his cell for three days and no one would take it. Abba Pambo said, if you have a heart, you can be saved. 
a brother went to see Abba Pimen and said to him, What ought I to do? The old man said to him, Go and join one who says, What do I want? And you will have peace. It was said of Abba Agathon that for three years he lived with a stone in his mouth until he had learned to keep silence. Abba Macarius the Great said to the brothers at Scetis when he dismissed the assembly, Flee, my brothers. One of the old men asked him, Where could we flee to beyond this desert? He put his finger on his lips and said, Flee that. And he went into his cell, shut the door, and sat down. It was said of Abba John the Dwarf that one day he said to his elder brother, I should like to be free of all care, like the angels, who do not work but ceaselessly offer worship to God. So he took off his cloak and went away into the desert. After a week, he came back to his brother. When he knocked on the door, he heard his brother say, before he opened it, Who are you? He said, I am John, your brother. But he replied, John has become an angel, and henceforth he is no longer among men. Then the other begged him, saying, It is I. However, his brother did not let him in, but left him there in distress until morning. Then, opening the door, he said to him, You are a man, and you must once again work in order to eat. Then John made a prostration before him, saying, Forgive me. A brother at Scetis committed a fault. A council was called, to which Abba Moses was invited, but he refused to go to it. Then the priest sent someone to say to him, Come, for everyone is waiting for you. So he got up and went. He took a leaking jug, filled it with water, and carried it with him. The others came out to meet him and said to him, What is this, father? The old man said to them, My sins run out behind me, and I do not see them. And today I am coming to judge the errors of another. When they heard that, they said no more to the brother, but forgave him. Abba Xanthius said, a dog is better than I am, for he has love and does not judge. A brother questioned Abba Euprepios about his life, and the old man said, Eat straw, wear straw, sleep on straw. That is to say, despise everything and acquire for yourself a heart of iron.